just last night we saw Purdue in a tremendous shooting performance gun down Gonzaga. Now they will host Tennessee on the neutral floor as the one seed. This is the one versus the two. Tennessee had a 16-point lead Friday night that whittled down in the second half all the way down to three. But Dalton Connect made a couple of big shots, some free throws. They had a couple of other guys step up and hit a big three. They held off Creighton. So Purdue favored by three and a half, total 148. Jeff Nadu to you. Does it uh, surprise you at all on that line or that total? And are we maybe going to get a live button play from somebody on this game? Thoughts, Jeff? I love TJ talking about a team gunning down another team. That's a great. Uh, that's a great thing. I got. We don't say that enough. <laughs> the stupid PC culture. Right. It's a great way to say it. Uh, All right. Yeah, I, there is going to be a live button. Screw Purdue. I'm done with. I hate this team. Give me Tennessee, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Back on right, November, right off the bat, he just pulls out the live button on holsters. Go yeah. ahead. Well, listen. I mean. Back on November 21st, I thought the one team that played them really well in Maui was Tennessee. Again, it's hard to beat a team when they shoot 48 free throws, which is what Purdue did in that game. They shot 18 more free throws than their opponent. Tennessee still only lost by four. They didn't get much out of anyone outside of Dalton Connect and Jordan Ganey. Ziegler gave them nothing. Viscovi gave them nothing. Pretty much everybody gave them nothing, but they did a decent job. We know they're a great three-point defense. This team just doesn't allow much from three. They completely run you off. Um, it's super impressive how good they are from three and and, and pushing you off the three-point line. I, I thought uh, Gonzaga had a decent game plan over the first 10, 15 minutes. Go right at Edie, right? Get in the sweet spot, kind of like Grambling did in that first game. Find a good spot, get in there. Um, at some point, they're not going to shoot 50 free throws. I think Tennessee's worth the look. I think they probably circled this game. They're, they're, they were hoping for this game. I think you get the best player in the country doing what he does, Dalton Connect. I'll gladly take three and a half. I think Tennessee beats Purdue. I think this Ooh. is the end. I think Matt Painter is eluded yet another Final Four. And we finally get Rick Barnes some redemption, just a little bit. Well, and bear in mind a couple of points. You brought up free throws. They only shot 10 free throws, Purdue, last night. Uh, for all the success that they had, and they pulled away in the final six, seven minutes of that game. Corby Craig, you see Jeff bluntly just put it out there. What was it, Screw Purdue? Is that a bumper yeah. sticker uh, on a Saturday morning? Uh, thoughts, Corby, including the total, Purdue, Tennessee. Is that total about where it should be? Yeah, the, the total seems fine. The one funny thing about that game last night is, yes, Purdue shot 10 free throws. Zach Eady shot all 10. So they know what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> They're, they're well aware of where to get the ball. You saw a whole bunch of trying to double-team the passer before they could throw it to Edie. That's basically your only shot. You can't double-team Edie. He's going to get a foul call. You can't you can't try to stop the ball from being entered. He's too big. So basically just double-team the passer, uh, which I do think Tennessee has the ability to do. If they continue this Gonzaga game plan, I, kinda, I talked about this. I bet Edie points under yesterday. And, I mean, the first half, he was shut down for the most part. Um, and then the second half, I mean, he just had every hook shot that he wanted. So it's it's a matter of the big issue here and the reason Purdue couldn't stop him and the reason Edie went over his points is two guys fouled out. Like at, at this point, I don't know what you can do to stop Edie. Does Tennessee have the depth at center? Uh, they're going to have to use a second guy. They're going to have to use a third guy. Can they figure out a strategy uh, to stop them? But I do agree with Jeff in the fact that Tennessee's a really good defensive team from the three point line. So let's say Edie has twenty seven. If they can still minimize the rest of what's happening, like we saw Smith with what I think uh, 13 assists last night. If they can stop mm -hmm. any kind of fundamental success, uh, 15 assists, sorry, uh, any fundamental success outside of ED, I think Tennessee has a chance to win here. I don't like either of these teams. Uh, if both of them lost, I would be very happy, uh, but it's just not possible here. I would lean towards. <laughs> that's Tennessee. not going to happen. Of all the permutations, both of them losing is not going to happen. Um, that's a great yeah. way to look at this. I think if if you're Tennessee, and I think, you know, Rick Barnes, you know, let Edie do what he does. I mean, go back to the Wisconsin game. They lost in uh, in the Big Ten tournament. Edie had 28 points. No one else in that game had double figures for Purdue. So, you know, he's going to do what he does. Right. But you got to just minimize everybody else. And I think they're very capable in doing that. Lawyer made a couple of the big shots, a couple of the big threes for Purdue as they pulled away. They were up 15 with three minutes to go in the game. And got it done. I'm, I'm looking back at the Tennessee box score with Creighton last night. You know how you win in a Sweet 16 game? You only turn the ball over four times, and your opponent turns it over nine times. 
You shoot 15 of 18 from the foul line. You shoot 11 of 24 from three. The Vols did a lot of that. And Jeff Nadeau says, live button play me, Tennessee. Take the points. He will live button play the Volunteers for Sunday afternoon. Take the points. And Tennessee here to go to the Final Four. Tennessee's never been in the Final Four. Purdue last in the Final Four, 1980. Ronald Reagan had not yet been elected president in 1980. Served two terms, March of, uh, March of 1980. How about that? That's what's on the line in Detroit. Can Purdue get back there? Can Tennessee get there for the first time for the Final Four in Arizona? So we gave you some good discussion. One more game to talk about. You see it on the schedule. Live Q&A coming after that, we've given you a lot on these Elite Eight games. Stand by for some live questions and answers. Hit that like button while you're in here. 